and good morning people welcome to a game by Genki welcome we're gonna skip that because it's just words uh, welcome to Jade Cocoon 2 published by Ubisoft created by Genki Cooperation Jade Cocoon 2 is a sequel to the original Jade Cocoon. Um, I do plan on going back to Jade Cocoon at some point, but uh, I'm going to start off with this one because I believe it's a more rounded out game. Many people will, agree, will probably agree with each other saying that Jade Cocoon is better the first uh, the first and original is better than Jade Cocoon 2 let's uh, get onto a screen where things won't uh, go out uh, and to be honest I'm tentatively going to agree with them I have played the first one I've played this this one the issue I have, and why I'm saying tentatively it is a better game, is because essentially, even though the games are similar, there are some profound differences that really you should be looking at Jade Cocoon 2 as its own game, more than to be in comparison with Jade Cocoon, the, the original. It is a follow-on to the story. Mechanics are similar in uh, in that you're fighting in with monsters. And there's four elements, but the way you fight is very different. The exp exploration is very different. So, I would say, if you're going to play this game, keep the original in your mind, for story, but that's all. So, that's basically the best thing I can say for doing uh, playing this game. If you, if you think of it as its own game, just as a uh, sequel, or not using the same mechanics, you will find this game a lot more enjoyable to play. I'm not going to say this is the best game in the world. It isn't. I'm not going to say it is a good game. It's an okay game. The story is mediocre to say the best uh, say best and uh, the mechanics are simple but let's head into it shall we and let's let our resident fairy um, explain
the beasts of darkness. This recent help wanted ad stirred up the public by advertising, make a quick buck in all the rank and honor you want. Come on out, starting today, you too can be a hero. Yeah, magic and monsters. No matter how much you know about them, you still won't be popular with the girls, much less attract them. Ta-da! This is the brave hero of our story. His name is Kahu. He's a perfectly normal little boy who adores the legendary Kakuna. You call that normal? Well, we won't worry about that now. Thus, Kahu begins his journey and heads to the temple to meet his hero. So I wonder, what will be young Kahu's fate? So a bit of background, a bit of uh Cool. I warped into a room. Is this the power of magic too? Hmm. This place is pretty small inside. Now, how do I get to be a cocoon master? Maybe I'll ask someone. Yeah, so a bit of backstory, a bit of uh current events and introduction to our resident hero, Kahu. Who will be seeing a lot of him? Well, he is the main character of this game. He's young, he's brash, he's excitable, and very naive, at least at the start. He's looking to become a cocoon master, but, um, Few things have changed in the years. Hey, old man, how do I become a cocoon master? Cocoon master? That's a blast from the past. We're all beast hunters. Beast hunters? Is that a cocoon master? A super cocoon master? Think of it more like a super hyper cocoon master. Remember that. Anyway, you got a license too. A license? What's that? Do I gotta have one? Of course. Go to the Jade Throne Room and train to get one. So, now, they're Beast Hunters. J uh, cocoon Masters are a relic of the uh, old world. They sort of died out with the ceiling of the wormhole forest, like Nico said. Time passed, and now there's beast hunters. Who are you? I haven't seen you around here. Are you a rookie? Me? I'm Kahu. Pleased to meet you. Uh, I'm not too sure I'm so pleased to meet you. Should I be? Huh? Why not? Did I say something wrong? Why should I trust you? If you want a good scoop, keep coming back to ask. Something about scoops. Are we picking something up? You haven't done something in the corner there, have you? Anyway, seriously, uh, there's this, which is a job board, which we'll be seeing later. This person who gives you rumours, I believe, and this person who is who just tells you about this thing here. If we go on to uh, this yin yang down here, it's our teleporter. We were told to go to the jade, uh, the jade throne room to get a uh, pass, uh, to get a license. There are places, other places we can go. There's the lounge, which we are now, Kikinak and Company. People who have played the first game will know who Kikinak is. So let's go and see him, shall we? For those who haven't played him, he is this. My boy, are you a rookie? Where are you from? Wanna make it big? Huh? I don't quite get what you mean, but I wanna be a cocoon master. 
pretty dense, boy. But even you can make it being as a beast hunter. My Kiki Naki company supports the beast hunters in their fight against darkness. Well, we do charge a little, but our prices are reasonable. Basically, he's a merchant. Uh, or the he's the one in charge of the merchants. Kikinak is a actually a beast of darkness himself. Um, but he was sort of turned by the main character of the of the first game and is a good friend of his. He is extremely extremely greedy. He will not do something for free. Ever. That's why he's got a shop. There's the storehouse on the left, and we've got the shop on the right. Nothing we can do right now until we get a license. There's the arena. We'll be seeing that in a little bit. The room of life, which we'll be seeing in a, in a little bit. So let's go to the throne room and, well, see if we can get our license. says I am legendary. As you see, I am quite alive. Since then, I have forgotten how long I've lived. Were I a normal man, should have died long ago. Ah, please pardon my bad habit of talking too long. May I continue? This is Levant. Levant is the, actually the, uh, protagonist of the, uh, first game. He's been alive for a very long time. Let's hear more. A legendary Kaku master has got to be an old man, so the chosen ones don't die. Or can't die, is more like it. Camule the Dragon God dwells within my body as protector of Elrim, God of the Forest. Protecting the seal of the temple for eternity. That is my duty. How come you got together so many cocoon masters? Levant, can't you just get them by yourself? The divine beasts in the wormhole have spawned awful mutants. The Navi people feared them, calling them the Forbidden Seas. The divine beasts evolved and adapted to the environment of the wormhole forest. We call them Kulma. They are so numerous, I alone cannot handle them, so I need your help. Hmm, are they strong? They are violent, but also knowledgeable, formidable foes. So I gotta get stronger so I can beat them. Actually, I'm gonna get strong. I promise dad. Your dad? Is your dad strong? Way strong. Huge fists and a big voice, too. He always says, son, you better grow up and be a man. <laughs> I see. Let's start your training. What's your name? My name's Kong. I want to work hard and get strong like you, Levon. Pleased to meet you, Kyle. A present from me to you. Take it. It is a beast element. Man's only weapon for fighting against divine beasts. It is a magic amulet made by deciphering the ancient scrolls of Gehenna. With it, divine beasts can be handled without using the way of divine beasts. 
Cool. Can I keep this? Thanks. First, you need to learn walking through the wormhole forest. But if you have no interest in the forest, I will not force you. Many of today's youngsters are so impatient, it's hard to teach them. Just a quick mention: uh, the way of the divine be uh, and the way of the divine beast is to fight them yourself. Uh, that was a something in the uh, original game. Uh, the um, you were Levant, Levant fought as well against the beasts, as well as using them. So yeah, there. What we're doing is basically only using beasts against beasts. We won't be fighting ourselves much, but we've got to uh, go for our training. We are a young boy in this game at the moment. We can't really, uh, don't really know a lot. So let's go in, shall we? See you the glowing gateway. That's the Kamari Gate. You go in from there. Push the button in front of the gate and then you go. Go. Try it. So, that's the Kamari gate. However, there's another gate over here. This gate will sound familiar. Can I go in here? That's the Kaya gate, said to be where the Chosen One of Darkness trained. It is sealed by the Nagi Way of Divine Beasts. No one may. The Kaya Gate, I believe, if, if I remember correctly, was the last area of the story in the first game. And the Kamori Gate was, I believe, the side area after the game. But we've got Levant here, and you might notice the statue up above him. That is the statue of his wife. Anyways, that's for later. Let's go into the Kamui Gate. Wow, there are these weird plants all over. This is an island in space time, the wormhole forest. The divine beasts have a habit of making nests in the plants called ochre vine. Once in the forest, first look for the nests of the divine beasts. Nests of divine beasts? Ogre vine? What's that? Are they big? The ogre vine is quite a bit larger than the other plants in the forest. It's a big plant that gives off light and vibrates. Go find it. If you get lost, Push the Beast Amulet's triangle button and call me. Essentially the triangle button on a PlayStation controller. But the training forest number one. Shoulder buttons. Rotate the camera. The uh, directional buttons. Move you. We need to go left. However, I'm going to go well we need to go right but how i'm going to go left and you might remember that uh levant was sort of speaking radio like this uh, if i remember correctly this one that's a princess vine bud use the key spores to open the bud and go in to open the bud you must first find the ogre vine the ogre vine's a big plant that gives off light and vibrates. Go find it. Yeah, the uh, voice is a bit less radio there. I think they missed something. There's a lot of things like that. Strange little bugs. This game has a lot of them. <laughs> So don't worry. 
So, yeah, this is basically a little hut. Cool. I can hear something. Like, it's alive. Of course it's alive. We're in the male stalk of the wormhole plant. Male? Is there a female one too? Exactly. A male stalk is an ogre vine. A female stalk is a princess vine. I can tell you more about this plant if you want. How about it? Are you interested? Um... I guess we should know? The plants come in pairs that make islands in the wormhole space. The male ogre vine bears spores that fertilize the female. The female princess vine receives spores from the male and bears children in the wormhole space. The children create new islands in the wormhole space and thus multiply. The princess vine roots are space-time tunnels that connect all the islands. The wormhole space has many connected islands, making a deep hierarchy of levels. The ogre vine and princess vine are the keys and doors to the islands in the wormhole space. So, what do I do now? You sometimes find gems and herbs dropped by the divine beasts in here. These items are vital to survive in the forest, so be sure to pick them up. So go ahead and search around inside this nest hole. If you understood any of that with the ogre vine and princess vine, congratulations. Essentially, princess vines are your gates to go to other levels and you need something in an ogre vine to actually open up the princess vine which we'll see in a moment but uh we've got this uh, little kiki knack person here if an exclamation point appears it means there's an item around to pick up an item press the x button whose instructions are fairly normal but this is, right here, an item. This is, um, we've got the exclama exclamation mark, we can pick it up. Tamatok picked up. I got it! Huh? What's this? Some sort of weird egg? That's a divine beast egg. The eggs you pick up are hatched in the temple. Cool. I've never seen one. So divine beasts are hatched from eggs. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get lots of eggs and raise divine beasts. Finding eggs is merely one means of boosting your fighting power. Our object as beast hunters is to purify dark divine beasts called Kalma. Aim for even deeper levels so we can purify even more Kalma. To advance to the next level, you need the key. Some strange balls came out. Those are key spores. They open the buds on the princess vines as exits. In short, they are like keys to the next level. To find key spores, look for the sparkling stamens. Remember this. Now go on and pick up the key spores. Okay, what are you wanting me to do with these? I got it. Now what do I do? Swallow it. What? Can you eat this thing? Eat it, and your body gives off odors that stimulate the princess vine. Stimulated by odors, the princess vine buds open. That's how it works. Ugh, this looks pretty weird. Just swallow it. You'll be okay. Beast hunters have it pretty rough. Huh? Hey, something smells sweet. Your body is giving off musk spores. Now, find the exit. Right about now, the princess vine bud should be opening. Now, go outside and find the princess vine. So basically, we've just ate, eaten some spores. And it's reacting with our body to smell nice mm, that 
Sweet smell. Bet you ate a keys for. Yeah. It's odd, but I guess it works because now the exit is open. If you remember just a moment ago, we this wasn't glowing like it is now. So let's do that. You might also notice we've got a map in the le bottom left hand corner. It's not a big map right now, uh, but you might notice a flashing sort of key sign. That tells you you have got the key spore for that level. When we get to the next level you will see that, well, we've got to, uh, got to show this first I guess. Uh, but yeah, when we get to a level where you, we don't have the key spores for, that sign will not be flashing. It won't even be there. We'll just see the map. But this is the uh, level sc screen. When you are doing... Uh, when you're going island to island, you can only go... Um, you can only go to the selected island you have gone through the Pit Princess fine to. You do not have any choice. It is slightly different when leaving from uh, the temple, which I will show properly then when we get to a point. But if you are going for a princess vine, you have to go to the island that that princess vine is connected to. If you remember Levant's explanation. Ex explanation there we go uh, we go through the roots of the princess vine to the island that it has um, spawned that is why we can only go to a specific island for a specific princess vine so let's go ahead Yeah, and down the bottom left, you, you saw briefly there, just the map without any key sign. You went through the wormhole tunnel in the Princess Vine and jumped to the next island. This is how you advance deeper into the wormhole forest. Got it. Tip section has been added under the items in the, on the menu. We'll show the menu in just a moment. You cannot do anything, you cannot move without him talking to you, so let's just press triangle. There's items, formation, status, the option screen and go to the temple. We'll have a look at everything else in a moment once we've, uh, well, probably in the next part, once we've actually hatched our Tamatok egg, which we received. So let's go back to the temple and finish our first little soiree into the wormhole forest. Looks like you made it back okay. Now you can learn how to use divine beasts. Yes! So now I can finally start raising divine beasts! You're on your own for a while. Try talking to lots of different people. Press the button on top of the transporter, then pick where you want to go. Go to Kikinak and Company for information about items picked up in the forest. The Shrine Maiden in the Room of Life will tell you about hatching eggs. After hatching your eggs, go to the arena to learn about battle formations. How can I remember all that at once? Anyway, first I gotta go hatch the egg I just picked up. Fine, let's meet back here once your arena training is finished. So, we are back and we can go to the Room of Life to pick up, uh, to hatch our egg. 
car who says how are we going to remember all that at once it's actually fairly simple uh, battles in this game are fairly simple to understand they get harder but the concepts are fairly simple so next time let's crack an egg open shall we until then have a wonderful day have lots of fun goodbye